Okay, let's get started here. The difference between a proxy workflow in DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. Really quickly, we have uh, three clips in the timeline and I wanna make proxies so they'll play smoother. So we select our clips in the, our media bin. We right click, select proxy, create proxies. And here we select our settings. In this case, I'm gonna do H.264 low resolution. You have the option of adding a watermark, which is cool. And the default destination is next to the original media, which works well. I'm going to keep it at that. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to open up Media Encoder. Now I'll generate the proxies. And if we jump back to Premiere Pro, you can see they are now attached under the proxy column. If you don't see the proxy column, right click, metadata display, type in proxy and select proxy, and then you will have a column in there to double check. Now we can see they're attached here, but they're not activated. So in here, we press toggle proxies. You can see this blue button turns on or off. And this is on, toggle proxies are on. If you don't see this button, click the plus button and drag toggle proxies down into your um, menu bar. That's it for Premiere Pro. DaVinci Resolve, it's almost the same. We go to DaVinci Resolve, we have three clips in here. We go to select, create proxies. Ah, uh, wait a sec, but this is a little bit different. We have to go into our settings first and go into master settings and select the proxy quality and destination before we go into master settings. So in this case, I'm gonna do quarter. I'm going to do H.264. I'm gonna do uh, the location. The default location is normally in your users folder on your hard drive, on your operating drive, which is a little odd, so I'm gonna designate this to go somewhere else. Ideally, you just want to go next to your um, root media folder or on a separate hard drive. I'll just do it to a separate hard drive. Click Save. And now, Control-click, Generate Proxy Media. And you can see this is a uh, a little bit faster than Premiere Pro. However, you do have to go into your preferences first to select where it wants to go. And you can see they're online by um, checking the proxy column here. If you don't have it, proxy column, and make sure it's selected. Right click and select. And there we have it. We've got our proxies.